Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Christy. I'm a homeschool mom to three kids and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you an extra kind of writing project that we did this week. Recently, I started following this homeschool mom named Lydia from Happily Ever Caffeinated on Instagram. She recently did a Wednesday feature with Learning Well. If you don't follow Learning Well, it's a very lovely homeschool account. And on every Wednesday, she selects a different homeschool mom to kind of do a day in the life of a homeschool day. And I love it because it really introduced me to a whole bunch of new homeschool moms to follow along with. Lydia's day in the life really inspired me and she actually featured in that video a project that she did like last year or something with her kids on a author study from an author called Steve Jenkins. Steve Jenkins is a picture book author for kids, but he writes nonfiction picture books. A lot of them have to do with animals and his style is very unique in its illustrations, kind of are a textured collage style and his writing is very intriguing, draw you in lots of little like questions and cliffhangers. And so I decided to try to do something similar with my daughter. I think that I'm always trying to find some fun writing projects that she can do that don't feel like writing. And I thought that this would be something that she'd really love because she loves animals and nonfiction books. She chose her own topic and she completed her own Steve Jenkins inspired picture book. And that was our writing project this week. It took us a week to do this project. It was a ton of fun. She had a blast with all aspects of it. And the skills that she really worked on were amazing. She worked on brainstorming and researching on the computer and organizing her thoughts and writing her thoughts down in a way that made sense and organizing a book and like planning a layout. She did a bunch of different art techniques to get texture on her, her paintings. And it was an amazing experience and we learned a lot from it. She had a lot of fun. And so I wanted to share a video on it, the process. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. I'm going to be doing compiling some clips that we took throughout the entire week. Cause like I said, it took us a week to do this project. We did a little bit every single day and do a voiceover kind of explaining what we were doing in our process. So hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you soon. The first thing we did was we headed to the library and we picked up a bunch of Steve Jenkins books so that we could really examine his style of writing and illustrations. The next thing that we did was we broke down kind of the layout of the book Lacey did all of the research online to figure out her topic of study, which happens to be what animals eat. She took all of her notes. I really thought this was beneficial in helping her learn researching skills. Next, we did some art the following day, and so we started making kind of textured paintings. So we used anything and everything, bunches of different techniques. We used sponges, we used forks, we used kitchen tools. We did a whole bunch of different art techniques just to create lots of texture and patterns. This particular one with the bubbles was so fun, and she thought it was like the coolest thing ever. It was so, so fun. Next, she typed up everything she wanted to write in the book. We printed them out and she was able to cut them apart and glue them on the pages where she wanted them. She then started on the animals and so she drew the pieces of the animal on the page and cut them apart and kind of the way that Steve Jenkins style is very collage type illustrations and so she was able to put the pieces together and kind of create these animals and she did a fabulous job on them. She definitely understood his style and I was very impressed with how she handled this part. 
Next, we stapled all the pages together and we created a simple cover in Canva and voila, she made a book and she's so proud of her finished product and she feels very accomplished. And I think it was a great confidence builder for her. It worked on a ton of different skills and she really got to see how to organize a book. So I will definitely link below the profile on Instagram that I found this idea because she also has a ton of other ideas that I love as well. And this is a great thing for reluctant writers. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you soon.